As you may know, Concerned Ape has been teasing frogs coming to Stardew Valley 1.6 for some time now, but he was very ominous on what they will do for us and how to even obtain them. But now that 1.6 is finally out in the world, I'm sure there are a lot of you out there that are fiending to get your grubby little hands on one, just like me. So I'm going to show you just how you can and what they do for you. That's right, they are more than just a cute little guy on your farm. And just a heads up, there will be some minor spoilers in this video for the skill expansion storyline and some unlockables. So if that's not something you wanna see, you best click off in three, two, one. All right, now that that's out of the way, let's get into frog hunting. Now you may have noticed that at the southwest end of Cindersap Forest, there is a secret new entryway, but it's locked. In order to gain access to the other side of this door, you're going to need to reach level 10 in all of your skills, farming, foraging, fishing, mining, and combat. Once you've successfully done so, you now have access to the mastery room. Inside this room, there's a note from grandpa and five different skill mastery challenge shrines. And on your inventory tab, you will now have a new mastery bar. Each skill shrine has different rewards for leveling up your skills more. The one we're going to be focusing on today is combat. The combat mastery will give you a few rewards. The most important ones for getting frogs is the anvil and the new trinket slot. Once you have this mastery room unlocked, you are free to start leveling up your skills. It seems like it doesn't really matter which skill you level up in order to unlock any of the skill shrines, but since we're going to be using the combat shrine, I feel like it just makes sense to gain combat experience. You can do this the noble way by going to fight monsters in the mines and farm infested levels, or you can also level up by buying skill books from the bookseller and leveling up that way. The Combat Quarterly book is a book that grants you combat experience. It can be bought for 5,000 gold at the bookseller. You can find it in fishing treasure chests, golden mystery boxes, from chopping down trees, and it can also be sold at the traveling cart occasionally. Once you've reached 10,000 experience points from your skills, you will receive a notification that will urge you to go back to the mastery room because you've reached a new level of understanding. When you return to the mastery room, all you have to do is claim the combat mastery prizes. This will grant you a brand new trinket slot in your inventory. This is where your frog egg will go. But first, we have to find frog eggs. But before we find a frog egg, I just want to remind you guys to go hit that subscribe button if you haven't already to stay up to date on all things Stardew Valley 1.6 and maybe even catch my live streams where we have been playing the new update together and discovering all the fun secrets along the way. Subscribing is a free way to support your favorite creators. And plus, I'll love you forever if you do. And back to the froggies. So to find the frog eggs, you're kind of at the whims of the frog distribution system. May the odds be ever in your favor. Basically, you need to go slay some enemies and hope that one of them drops a frog egg. I suggest using monster musk to double enemies in the mines and putting on a burglar ring to double the loot from monster drops. You get the burglar ring from completing the dust sprite monster slayer goal. Once you receive that frog egg, all you have to do is pop it in your trinket slot and there you go. You've got yourself a little companion frog that will now follow you around. But wait, there's more. Not only will he follow you around, he will go full on Kirby mode and straight up eat nearby enemies. Although, unlike Kirby, he doesn't spit them out and gain their powers. That would be fucking awesome though. But alas, he just swallows them whole. Oh. Frogs also come in many different colors. That's where the anvil comes in. If you're unhappy with your frog's color, you can use the anvil that you receive from the combat shrine to re-roll trinkets, like frog eggs. Anvils take 50 iron bars to craft. Once crafted, it takes three iridium bars and the egg to successfully re-roll a trinket. We have a brown frog, a red frog, a green frog, a blue frog, a blue green frog, the yellow frog we got originally, and two rare frog colors. One of those rare colors is a void frog with red eyes and a black body. A super cool spooky looking frog for the emo girlies. And the other is a prismatic frog. This frog will cycle through the colors of the rainbow resembling a prismatic shard. I don't like them putting chemicals in the water that turn the friggin' frogs gay! While I was re-rolling my trinkets to see all of the frogs, I started with a whopping 999 iridium bars and ended with 693, meaning I used a total of 306 bars. And in that time, I only saw one prismatic frog and one void frog. So if we do some quick math here, let's divide 306 iridium bars by three, because we use three per reroll, that brings us to 102 total trinket rerolls at the anvil. And again, I only saw one void frog and one prismatic frog. So that means there's roughly a 1% chance at your anvil to reroll yourself a void frog or a prismatic frog. This percentage may change as we get more testing, but just know they're pretty dang hard to come by. Comment down below which frog color is your favorite. I think mine is the void frog. I mean, just look at the little guy. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you found it helpful and go ahead hit that subscribe button. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.